All right, if I only had three lures uh, fishing my home waters of the Great South Bay, I'm gonna show you them right now what they are. The first one by far um, is a lure that I've caught more striped bass on than any other lure that I fish. This is basically something very simple. It's a six inch white pearl tsunami swim shad. Okay, there are three different kind of applications on how to fish them inside the bay. The first one is the open bay where there's not much current. Okay, when there's not a whole lot of current, there's not a whole lot to do. Just cast and use a steady retrieval um, back to the boat. When you're fishing rips, always remember bass will face into the current. So you're gonna wanna cast up current, okay? So you want the fish to come back right towards face to face with them. Always keeping the line tight enough to where it's just not doing this in the current. Another way to fish this is really how I learned how to fish these is at night. Okay, when you fish these at night, you need to slow your retrieval down to where it's almost painful. You're gonna almost bounce it off the bottom um, and you're gonna adjust as the current adjusts the speed in which it's moving. But you wanna keep this lower down towards the bottom of the water around the, uh, the bridge abutments and everything. So the swim shad absolutely is, is a must. Next up, okay, we're gonna look for bluefish. You can see this is a very simple cotton cordell and what i actually love probably one of the most things about this it's eight dollars how wonderful is that in this world um i remove all treble hooks because i don't i have no desire to keep the bluefish so i'm okay not catching one on every cast uh what i put on the end of this this one's all rusted out so i'm going to change this this is just an open eye hook before i got on video i used my pliers to open up the eye you would literally just take the hook off, switch it around, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a new one on, and then you would just take the pliers and tighten that up so the hook won't come off. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a few of these in your tackle box because believe it or not, they can be ripped off by the bluefish. We're not talking in the springtime about snappers. The biggest bluefish I've caught in the bay so far weighed in at 17 pounds. That, that's quite the brute. You could see, what the bluefish does to the lure. And now you're probably wondering, what is this guy doing with this giant leader? I wrote an article last year in the Fisherman Magazine, okay? This is about anywhere between 150 and 200 pounds. You're not gonna be able to see it, but there are all nicks along this. If you're using 40 pound test, you're gonna lose it. This has lasted me, this is going on year number three. I just crimp it to this. One of the most wonderful things about this is, unless I'm gonna take a photo of a bluefish, I don't want it in my boat. So that means I wanna use my de-hooker. You could wrap your hand because it's so thick, the line, and just use the de-hooker to take it off. If you attempt this with braid, uh, I don't have to tell you what's gonna happen. And even worse, if you attempt this with wire leader, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. So take a look at this thing, and when I'm done with the season, all I do is clip it off, and then I just hang it in my closet like this for the next season. So that's just a cotton cordell, very aerodynamic. It's got a little rattle to it, and you're gonna have a blast watching those big bait bluefish blow it up, okay? Now, we, got, we have stripers, we have bluefish. There's one more other fish that is highly targeted, besides fluke, we won't talk about that today, a weak fish. They've made a tremendous, tremendous comeback. I was never on the island back in the glory days when weak fish were 10 plus pounds. But the good news is from New Jersey up to Rhode Island, we've seen a huge um, amount of weak fish return to our waters. This little guy is probably my favorite thing to use. This is a Ron Z, all right? It's the smallest one they make. I do believe it's a quarter ounce. It catches a lot of fish, but there's one little issue with it. We're fishing in waters that have blowfish. We're fishing in waters that have snappers, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna put a hurting on this. And after a while, it, it does get expensive. I know a lot of people with gulp and everything, it's the same thing. I think gulp works great. But when you got those toothy critters, it, you know, it, you're gonna lose a lot of these. So I'm gonna show you one more. I know we were only supposed to show three, but as an alternative to that, when you do have toothy critters around, here's a Z-Man. And what makes Z-Man so special? Check that out. That thing holds up, and believe it or not, you may not believe it, but you know I've had days where I've caught 30, 40 weak fish and used the same exact lure, the same Z-Man, the entire day. 
So if you only had three lures to fish the Great South Bay, these are the three lures you definitely want on um, on your rods. And um, you know, any questions, you could always contact me and uh, uh, let me know. And um, that's that.